everyone. Welcome to the Chesapeake City Show. This is Tim Qualls. I'm here with the mayor, Dean. And I'm telling you, every time I come down here, it, it's just, it, it sun shines. I mean, what a great city. It is, especially when we have weather like this that brings everybody out. It's absolutely awesome. It's just a, another perfect day here. Yeah, and this is a Monday, and, and still the traffic. I, I stopped and had lunch at Bohemian Cafe here, and, I mean, the place was loaded up. The deck over at the Chesapeake is just filled up. Down at Bayard House is all, I mean, it's just a great place to come and visit. This is our season, Dave. I mean, this is our season. We, um, It's the great weather. It's the great product that we have here, and we have a lot to offer here in town. And the secret's out. More and more people are learning about us and the different things that we're doing as a town. And uh, it's exciting, everything that's happening right now. Yeah, and I, I'm very excited because we, we're sitting here and we're standing on a new, this pretty much all brand new right here. But this is what's coming to the entire Bohemia Avenue as we, we're standing here on this. You guys are getting ready to re give a whole new facelift. We are. We're looking to uh, take piece by piece the business district and the historic district. And we're looking to really you know, get rid of the electrical wires, the poles. We're looking to redo the roads, uh, the sidewalks we're looking to restore to the brick, uh, brick sidewalk look and really upgrade uh, the business area uh, and the historic area. Once we do this, then our, our secondary goal to that is that we're already out working on is to bring in additional shops, you know, look for some additional stores that want to come in here, set up shop, and we're looking to give them some incentives uh, to come in here and be a part of our town. Yeah, when you're talking about that, because I come down through here and I, I, I love strolling down the street, and when I walk down the street and everything, different houses have different historical markers on them. And, and to give you a good example, we're standing in one of the greatest looking buildings in town is this right here. But it wasn't built just yesterday, because if you come, I'm going to walk over here, Dean, just to show folks what I'm talking about, because if you come in, you know, this this came in into play the, as a national bank in 1903. Yep, 1903. This was a bank for many, many years. And then, believe it or not, in 1986, this was Town Hall. Uh, this became Town Hall, and it was Town Hall uh, for a number of years. And then Town Hall moved across the street, and uh, some uh, just a great family's been in here and has opened up this shop here, and it's been another big plus to town. But this is just one of many historic things that uh, uh, really – we want to bring out when people visit us and we see all the different historic properties because there's multiple properties here all throughout town. Yeah, we're going to visit by your house during this show too. And when we visit that, they claim to be the oldest building in town. So that could quite possibly <laughs> be true. And, uh, uh, Mrs. DuPont had that for years, and um, a lot of credit for her for uh, revitalizing the town back in the 70s, and that was just one of her projects. This town is so rich in history. Uh, there's so much I even continuously learn all the time, so the amount of history in this town is amazing. So the combination of us with revitalizing the town right now, fixing the infrastructure, keeping the history of it, and also making sure we preserve the quality of life for our residents and also for the people that are visiting. That's our goal. I mean, that's it. And we're lucky enough to have all these historical things that we can put into the mix and we're not starting from scratch. Because you've come down here. I mean, the nice thing is you've got the water and everybody's going to love spending time because I was thinking, you know, you come down here because they got a little cottage you can rent down here. You've got di different bed and breakfasts around that you can stay in. You know, so you can stay right on the water. You can have dinner one place, go party another place, get up and have breakfast in another place. I mean, anything and everything that you're looking to do if you're looking for a great weekend where, and not having to fight the beach traffic, that's what I love most. <laughs> it is. And, I mean, listen, water sells itself, right? Our town is on the water, and we're lucky enough that our town is on both sides of the water. And those establishments have great things to offer, and it just brings them in. It doesn't matter if they're coming from Baltimore, coming from Wilmington, coming from Philadelphia. The product that we have here that we can serve up is tremendous. And like you said, that's from the restaurants to the bed and breakfasts to the shops, everything. Yeah, when you're talking about the shops, it's just antique shop after antique shop as you're strolling up down Bohemian Avenue.
Avenue here, and then you go the next block over, you got more of the same. So there's little shops throughout, and as you had said, if you're looking to open up a shop, I mean, great place to do it as they do the revitalization of the town. They're looking for more people to come in and, and open up shops and, and, and have something to offer for the folks coming in to visit. But let's talk about, because you, you got to be excited because, you know, you just got reelected mayor, and, you know, that's, that's a big plus in itself because you've brought so much to the city since you've been mayor. Uh, and when I say that is the trails that are coming in, the hiking trails, the walking trails, all that's got a big part of the city as well. Well, I think the reason I got reelected is because the, the, the residents share the vision that's here and they see what's coming. We had to fix our infrastructure first. Uh, before I took office many years ago, uh, four years ago, we had to bring in a whole new water system, which we have. Saved the town hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now we have the game plan done with the sewer system. So the infrastructure part is, is in there. Now people are going to start seeing the cosmetic things. Like you said, we have a trail that goes 17 miles from right here in Chesapeake City all the way up to Delaware City. Okay. That's huge. That's a cosmetic thing that's going to bring people in. You can bike, walk, run. You can start here and you can go up five miles and turn around or you can go the whole way and turn around. That's going to bring in a lot of events, biking events, running events, all kinds of events. So now people are going to start to see, now that the infrastructure is fixed, they're going to see the vision. They're going to see the rehabs uh, of the different streets. They're going to see the additional trail. We have a, another trail starting here in the fall that puts a boardwalk along the water goes up the next street up here underneath the bridge and actually goes all the way out to our schools. So our kids are going to be able to walk on these trails instead of walking on the roads and stuff. It's just the entire vision you're going to see over the next few years, you're going to be able to see the result of um, the $19 million in grants that we've gotten to help uh, rehab our town. Yeah, and when you're talking about that, because I'm, I'm said to my wife, I said, you know, I can't think of a better place to live and, and watch kids grow up than some place like Chesapeake City right here on the water and then great school districts i mean it, you know you've got it you got it made here and I'm, but my problem is i can't find any houses for sale they nobody nobody's moving well when a house comes up it does it does move very quickly and that's starting to starting to happen even faster but it is important to balance the quality of life between the people that live here and the people that visit here and uh that's a that's a constant challenge every day but that's what's most important uh, at least it will be under my administration that the quality of life of the people that are here that help build this town uh, we need to make sure that balance is there and that's what we continue to strive for yeah because you're bringing in people and more and more people are going to come in and visit the Chesapeake City as we start to showing them and telling them many things that they can do here but at the same time like you said being sure the ones that live here are getting a better things in life and you're doing that and, and congratulations I mean I know you got a lot more plans and we'll talk about that as we go forward but uh, just tell the folks come down and visit Chesapeake City absolutely it's the season come see us um, we're ready for you the shops are ready for you the restaurants are ready for you and uh, we're excited that uh, we'll be on the destination map all right, you're standing here in Chesapeake City, right on the Chesapeake, Delaware Canal. It doesn't get any better, better than this. I'm here at the Bayard House, and I'm here with Mary. I'm telling you, if you're looking for great dining, you're going to find it right here, and I'm going to find out about, all about it. And Mary, just a great place to be. Thank you very much. We enjoy it here. We have a lovely location right on the water. We have wonderful food, a lot of things to uh, in, uh, entertain people. We have an outdoor bar, an indoor bar fine dining upstairs, patio dining outside. Now, you've been in Chesapeake City for quite some time. I mean, you know, I always try to ask people, well, what do you do for when you want to get away when you're in paradise, you know? So and this this is paradise when you talk about Chesapeake City. But let's talk about the the house here, the Byard House. When you, we're talking about this, what great food. The food is wonderful. We have a uh, seafood buffet going on Thursday nights. We have wonderful crab cakes. We have um, all sorts of uh, Chesapeake style uh, entrees that are uh, from this area and uh, our chef does a wonderful job with that. Yeah, because you're talking top notch, a five star restaurant when I look at it and see the food is coming out of there. And then you, you have a nice restaurant that, you know, and I want people to understand you come down here and enjoy it in the evenings and sit there and you don't have to, if you don't like the heat, today's a perfect day to be outside. But if you don't like the heat, you're inside in an elegant restaurant. We have beautiful view from our upstairs porch right on the uh, glass there and you have a beautiful view of the canal. And nice and cool and then you come down here if you want to come down here and really enjoy being right on the water itself you can't in chesapeake city you cannot get any closer to the water than what you can here 
we have a patio dining outdoors and it's about 20 feet from the water so I think you're right <laughs> yeah and then you get, uh, get, get I, I kind of concerned with the people at the bar outside bar here because they're like five feet from the water <laughs> you know when you're talking about that because you can come out here and sit I mean we're standing and, and within three steps I'm stepping in the water that's right that's right but they all have a good time they know <laughs> yeah, a lot of locals uh, Thursday night's local night here Thursday right? night is local night but we all welcome anybody that is our new neighbors and and uh, we make new friends all the time here yeah and, and it's just a great place to visit now let's talk about hours of operation because that's important people coming down a little bit different hours on a weekend of course the weekend traffic's a little heavier but during the week you can come down here and dine we start our lunch at 11 o'clock and we have a new menu format so we serve our lunch dinner and bar items all from the menu you can get that anytime during the day we start at 11 during the week we our kitchen closes at 9 and then on the weekend our kitchen closes at 10. Yeah so you can come down here and enjoy dinner all the way up through those hours and, and lunch. I didn't even think about lunch. What a great way to have a business appointment if you're out there. Uh, you know I can't think of a better way to encourage somebody to buy business from you than sitting here looking out over the water. We have a lot of um, uh, small meetings and we have a small business uh, meeting room that um, is a private room and of course they love to come down and have their luncheons here and get business done in a great atmosphere. Yeah, so you got all that going for you, and this is, once again, I always always refer to it as a Bayard house. Am I correct with that? That is correct. Yeah, and of course, it was a family-owned business way back when, and they've been, you know, how long has this been? Because when you're talking about Chesapeake City, all the buildings are historic buildings, and this one, I, I think somebody told me it might be the oldest one in town. That is correct. Um, this was restored to be a restaurant in the early 80s. So this was actually somebody's house at one point. It was someone's home. It has been many things throughout history. It's been a, um, a rooming house. It was a hotel. And uh, there's one picture in the Hole in the Wall bar that shows that it was a provision store. Oh, wow, Hole in the Wall bar. I forgot about that. When you talk about the coming out, you also have a bar inside, too. We, don't... we do. The outdoor bar is called our Umbrella Bar. Obviously, it's um, most attended during the warmer weather. During the colder months, um, the Hole in the Wall bar is always open. It's open today. It's open throughout the year. Yeah, so you can come down here throughout, and that's what I tell them people, you know, we you don't have to wait on the summer months to come down and enjoy Chesapeake City. There's so much to do here. This is just one of the fine dining areas, I, you know, it, that you can have when you come to Chesapeake City. I can't think of a better place to come and have dinner and then right here at the Byard House. I would agree with you wholeheartedly. And then Mary's there to greet you. Now, you've been here in Chesapeake City pretty much uh, quite a while yourself. I have. I've been here about uh, 28 years. And I'm finding when you talk to people in Chesapeake City, there's not too many people that can't tell you some of the history of Chesapeake City. That's right. They live in this little historic district. They are totally interested in the history of their homes and of the families that have been here. A lot of them have moved out of town and have moved back into town, and they just love being here in this little village. Yeah, but you definitely want to come down and come down and enjoy a great meal, folks. Buffet on Thursday night, but you don't have to wait on the buffet. Great menu to order off of. Come down and check it out. This is, once again, the Byard House right on the, the Chesapeake and Delaware Canal. It is a main man-made body of water. Yeah. And it, of course, this was the Bohemian Village back in the day. That is correct. Yeah, I knew that. I found that out by historic people down here. It's Chesapeake City. This is Byard House. Once again, this is Mary. She'll greet you when you come in, give you a great seat. Just tell her you want to be up by the window and tell her hi for us. And thank you so much. Visiting everything we possibly can in Chesapeake City. I wanted to get over here because if you got a young one and you're living in this area, you know you need daycare. I mean, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, but there's not a better way to get it started than Chesapeake Learning Center, and I like that better versus daycare because this is Miss Stephanie here, and you guys actually teach. We do teach our children here, pre-K program, full day and half day. Yeah, and you go from pre-K, but you guys, you know, watch kids from anywhere from the infants all the way up to 12 years old? Yes, sir. We accept them as, as young as three months, all the way up to 12 years of age. Yeah, now this is coming into a time of year that a lot of folks in this area need to know, okay, now I've got my kids, i got to work, you know, the school's out, I, you know, I can let them run wild on the streets or <laughs> find some place for them. You've got a lot of the activity going on, different classrooms, so you're not putting, you know, three-year-olds with 12-year-olds. No, sir, we do not do that. Every, every room is divided into age groups, um, and our summer program will um, accommodate um, 
kindergartners through about 10 or 11 years of age. Yeah, now you can't do anything without the proper staff and Miss Stephanie and I know in talking with you that you, you know that's one one of your pet peeves is being sure you have the right people to do the job and you know you got some pretty amazing folks back there. We do. Uh, the state of Maryland requires um, our teachers to be qualified if not with the Maryland state credential for pre-K and infant care. Um, uh, our lead teachers at least have an associate's degree. Um, two of my staff members have bachelor's degrees. So they're well trained. And I, I tell people, you know, all we can do for our kids is get them the right education, you know, and be sure that they're prepared for what's going to come to them in life. Absolutely. Uh, one of the curriculums we use here is handwriting without tears. So they uh, learn different rate ways to manipulate letters, drawing, tracing. Uh, we do a lot of sight words. So some of them are reading uh, before they go to kindergarten. A lot of my staff members took a very interesting class at the state of Maryland offered called learning through play. So we don't just learn um, through books and papers and tracing and reading. They're, the children are actually learning by um, building things, um, outdoor play, investigating. We do a lot with science. This time of year, we do a lot with plants and bugs and ants and worms. The fun things. Now, if somebody would have done that for me when I was going to school, I might have enjoyed school a little bit more. Instead, of, I'm still writing with tears. So you guys have that without <laughs> tears. But you offer so many different things because now I got you know I get kids for after school and you know our summer programs coming in. You know that 10, 11, 12 years old what are we going to do? Yeah, we, um, we try to keep it appropriate for every age group. So even though we are, uh, you know, a, a wide range of ages, uh, kindergarten through 10, we will have activities specifically for the kindergartners or first grade and then for the older ages. Um, our field trips are age appropriate. Um, we have people visit in the center uh, that bring animals and things like that for them to enjoy. Where are you guys located? We are in the South Village 2 Shopping Center on the south side of the Chesapeake City Bridge. We open at 6.30. Uh, we are the only facility down this way, um, really, until you get to Cecilton. Yeah, so if you're looking for a place to, what are you going to do with your kids, especially with summertime, what a great thing to go, have going on with a learning center. I just love that because they're going to come in here, they're going to get some education while they're here and enjoy themselves while they're here as well. Absolutely. We, we're a unique community where um, a lot of my clientele are um, teachers in the neighboring schools and um, I am very familiar with a lot of those families that I, I um, am in business with. And a lot of the benefit here is by word of mouth and reference. Um, we see each other. I have young children, and the way we interact just in our daily lives, I think, gives people more of a peace of mind. And you enjoy your job because all the kids come in. Miss Stephanie, you know, what a great way to start the day when everybody's hugging and smiling at you. I absolutely, I absolutely. This is not a job for me. Um, one of, one of the highlights of my job is planning our events, like planning our summer camp. I do enjoy that. Planning our holiday activities. Uh, we're very busy around here in the fall and for Christmas. So it is. I, I mean, if you can come to work and play every day, I don't know how that's a job. I'm a Peter Pan. That's what I'm going to call you. I don't want to grow up. When it comes to music, you know, a lot of kids, what a great way to get started. Start taking, you know, while they're here, music lessons. Yeah, every uh, Wednesday, Music for Life comes in and gives uh, any child whose parent is interested uh, to and up can learn keyboard and, and guitar. And then they also, for the older kids, will teach violin. Yeah, so if you got, you know, what a great way. I mean, you know, you guys have it all. I don't know of anything that's better than right, right here, once again, Chesapeake City Learning Center, and it's in the what shopping center? South Village 2 Shopping Center. And a phone number real quick? 410-885-5043. And this is Miss Stephanie. I'm going to give you a hug, and we got to go. <laughs> When you're in Chesapeake City, you can't help but go to Chesapeake Inn. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to Chesapeake City, Chesapeake Inn is the city. I mean, you come over here. This is John Bragg here with me. John, what a magnificent place you got going on. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. This is the place to be when you come to Chesapeake City. Everything stems right here. Everything starts here. Yeah, when you talk about that, because right now we're standing on the dock. If you're coming in by boat, you guys you guys have it set up, and, and not only just to pull the boat here, but to stay a couple of days if you like. Oh, absolutely. The boaters have the uh, capability of coming in. 
electric, water, whatever they need, private showers uh, we have for them as well. So uh, a lot of, lot of opportunity here for them to come in and just enjoy the weekend, enjoy their stay. Yeah, and when you're talking about you're enjoying the weekend, because we're looking right now at the deck here on, when, when you talk about the Chesapeake Inn, the outside deck. And I, I was telling you, I'd rather come here and sit and have a nice meal than go to the beach and, and do the same thing because it's more tranquil here. It's more relaxing to me. Yeah, there's a lot going on here all the time. Uh, everything you need is under one roof here. Food, drink, beverage, adult adult beverages as well. Uh, it's all in one place. But it's a family atmosphere. That, that's what I want to get to, to, through to people because you go out on the deck. Now at nighttime, it kind of goes into a party zone yeah. too. You know, but but during the day and, and evening, you, your families come here and really enjoy their meals. Oh, absolutely. We cater to the families a great deal. There's a lot of events that go on throughout the season, catering to the families, bringing them in, you know, 4th of July celebrations, Memorial Day parties. It, it's about the family. We, we all have families here. We enjoy having them come down as well. And and, uh, you know, we like seeing them. Yeah, when you're talking about that, because I wanted you, you mentioned something to me when you, you occasions, because you, you might have a special occasion, and you guys, because I come out, I'm, I'm in a suit, and I was upstairs having lunch today, because you got it, you know, to me, it's a five star restaurant on a, on a top level. Right. Oh, absolutely. The main dining room is uh, our executive chef uh, just uh, puts out some food that is amazing. Uh, uh, you know the menu is done on a uh, on a seasonal basis, so it's always fresh seafood, uh, steaks, uh, anything you want up there is is really available, and and it's top quality, top notch. And what a view you have from up there! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when when you get on a window seat and just uh, actually any seat that you're in in the dining room, you can see out because there's so many windows. But just the view from sitting up there just adds to the ambiance and the experience that you have. I guess uh, the comparison be like going to Annapolis, you know, if, if everybody's yeah. been down there and that, that kind of feel that you get, just that nice, nice feeling. But you, you guys do something even better than that, I, I think is fantastic because every year I come and John's expanding. He's always doing something different. You know, one year it was putting rails around the balcony up, upstairs, added a balcony up there. and the banquet facilities. You guys are really big on that now. Yeah, we have a lot of different uh, rooms that are available to uh, to be rented for parties, graduations, um, uh, you know, a ballroom for weddings and events, the receptions. There's just uh, so much up there that from the outside you may not see. If you don't come in and take a look around, you might miss it. But uh, the opportunity is there for any type of event that you have. Uh, we've got room for you. Yeah, okay. the accommodation, because you got, like you said, many different rooms when you're talking about that. I love the one that you have that you can just kind of stretch it right out on. You come right out on the deck and you're, you're overlooking everything. Right. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the terrace and you can dine out there. That's open. It's also available to be rented uh, for private events as well. But on most occasions, you can come here and uh, take a look at that and, and sit outside and have your meal, uh, you know, under the sun or under the stars. Yeah, and then you can come also down below because when you're talking about this, I said at nighttime it turns into a party zone, and it does because you guys are bringing in top you, you, you guys kind of – work with the locals and want to be sure to bring the local bands in but you also bring in some top name entertainment from philadelphia baltimore around the region yeah we we get a lot of different groups uh you know that are, are real regional acts that come in and uh, we we want to provide the uh you know the the best entertainment we can here and and we draw pretty well based on that the uh the atmosphere on the deck on a friday saturday night is is really one of just relaxation and good time yeah because you've got if, if the weather turns on you don't don't stop from coming down here because you guys got it set up that you you keep it going because you you go flow inside as well underneath oh absolutely there's room inside there's also uh coverage on uh, part of our deck uh, the tiki bar is covered and heated so if it gets a little cool we've got some uh some heat that comes on over there cabanas a fire pit so there, there's places if you need to get away and uh, get out of the rain if it happens uh, we have the area for you yeah and because and, and so the party never stops that's what we get at and the dinners I'm telling you I come here if, if you want crab bisque soup better than any place in uh, you know every time I come that's I, I don't care what time of day it is the guy said Tim it's you know we just finished breakfast you know and you're ordering this but I've got to have it the best soup in town yeah it is and, and we we pride ourselves on what we what we make and what we serve and it really is exceptional food exceptional quality we use the best quality products it's not we don't skimp on it we want to make sure that we serve something that the guest is happy and wants to come back and obviously uh, you're an example of that and 
and uh, time and time again. It's all here for you. This is Chesapeake in in Chesapeake City, historic Chesapeake City. How long have we been here now? We are celebrating our 20th year this year, and that will happen in June, and uh, we'll have a uh, we'll have a celebration. It's always a celebration going on at Chesapeake Inn. If you're looking for a romantic dinner, you know, bringing somebody out just to have dinner, you can do the outside, but upstairs is just fantastic. I really enjoy that, and bringing the wife over and sitting up there having a nice, and, and the menu is superb. I mean, your your chef does a great job. Yeah, yeah the, the options that we give them and uh, the availability of the fresh seafood, option it's just fantastic and what i like john is pulling up here you don't have to worry about looking for parking you got valet parking oh no not at all you can pull in we've got a, a lot of gentlemen out front who will be happy to park your car for you and and when you're ready to leave you can text them 15 minutes in advance and uh, your car will be out front waiting for you when you arrive doesn't get any better until next time john bragg thank you so much for letting us come in the chesapeake inn one of the things that you definitely want to check out when you're in chesapeake city but there's so much more Want to get back with Dean here and wrap everything up. We got to show you the Chesapeake uh, Inn right across. So behind us here, Dean, what a great place. You don't forget about the Learning Center out there. You got the, you know, so many things about your house. We visited that. We visited so many different things, but there's nothing better than coming back and revisiting the water. But you got a couple more things you want to, you know, that happened here that people, we didn't talk about, you know. That well, what we've turned into really is really the wedding uh, capital of this area and the surrounding area. We have, as you can see with this water and all these different areas. We probably have a dozen different places you can get married, including right next door here at Pell Gardens. And we've got everything. Then they can stay in the bed and breakfasts. We've got one restaurant you can do the rehearsal dinner. We've got banquet facilities at Schaefer's and, and over here at the inn where they can have their uh, wedding banquets at. Uh, so we've really turned on the weekends into a, a, a wedding capital, which is very, very important. And our next step is we're going after corporations. During the week, we want corporations to come do their retreats here. They can use the trail and do their different events, corporate events on the trail. Uh, they can stay in their bed and breakfasts during the week. Um, so we're really driven on what the next steps are here. And we don't want to just limit it to the so we're, we're down here in the middle of the summertime right now, and it don't feel like summer, but this goes year-round, folks. I want people to understand that Chesapeake City doesn't say, okay, it's over with. Close the drain, the, drain the water, drain the pool, because it's, it's here year-round. Absolutely. Some of these restaurants have their biggest nights uh, during Winterfest, which is basically from Thanksgiving uh, through New Year's. We have a light display all throughout town that we made an investment about five years ago. And Winterfest is heavily attended and each year keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So we're, do we're doing things year round here. Yeah, I got to watch you pull a switch on here a couple of years ago, if I remember correct. It's all here for you in Chesapeake City. You definitely want to make it your destination, one of your destinations throughout the summertime here. But keep it in mind throughout the year because it's just a great place to come visit. I love it down here. If you need any kind of information at all, you can go right to Town Hall. If you ever need to meet with me, the mayor, with anything, give them Town Hall. We'll, we're very accessible. We'll, we'll get you put in and uh, sit down and talk with you. Yeah, it's all here for you. Until next time, for Dean, the entire gang at Chesapeake City and all the residents, thanks for letting us invade you. Until next time, we'll see you. Bye-bye.